Australian researchers have achieved a breakthrough in understanding how infant and breast cancer develops. They've identified certain proteins and their role in the formation of tumours. Professor Glenn Marshall led the research team and joins me now. Good morning, Professor. Good morning, Anne. Can you explain how these proteins lead to the development of cancerous tumours? I can. Uh, almost 80% of children with cancer are in fact cured of their disease and the similar figure for adults with cancer is about 50 to 60%. But cancer doctors face two major problems. One, uh, that they need to cure more patients obviously so we need new therapies for that purpose. But also we need treatments that can have reduced side effects and side effects or the cost of cure is in fact a, a big issue in children. Can Cancers are composed of, uh, if you like, accelerator proteins and breaking uh, proteins. And so the cancer inures the uh, accelerator protein to drive growth of the cancer and uh, shuts down uh, the breaking proteins that are uh, turning off the growth of cells in non-cancerous cells. So now, what does this discovery of the way the protein causes cancer mean for young sufferers? We think it's a very exciting development in that, uh, firstly, uh, we've identified a group of cancer types that have this overactive mixed protein, uh, which would now be uh, amenable to treatment with these very exciting new HDAC inhibitor uh, drugs. Uh, second of all, we've identified the mechanism of how this drug is working and how the mic protein switches off the break. And so this will lead us to new therapies. And then I think third and probably most importantly uh, is that the treatment uh, and the mechanism we've defined seems to be only working in cancer cells and so the normal cells are not being hurt. I think that's a big advance in thinking in the field. So how soon can doctors start utilising these findings? Well, we would hope that uh, within the next year or two uh, these uh, drugs can be used across these diseases. Uh, one of the drugs is in fact licensed for uh, clinical use in lymphoma at the moment and so we're hoping that it's not too far away. So could this lead to a cure for cancer in children? Well, we hope so. Uh, I'm a doctor and a scientist and uh, I get out of bed every morning hoping that 100% of my patients will be cured mm. uh, and that they'll have no side effects. Uh, one can never guarantee that, but that's our goal. Well, congratulations on the breakthrough and thank you very much for joining us this morning, Professor Marshall. Thank you. And we'll have more new research into breast cancer coming up after the break.